America, it's time to take part in the ultimate investigation. This is I Can See Your Boy. Through a series of clues. Lip Sync Challenge. And without ever hearing them sing a note, could you identify bad singers? And even though you can. From good singers? <laughs> In a night of unforgettable performances, one contestant attempts to win $100,000. Okay, America, keep your notepads ready, because anything and everything might be a clue. Helped by a team of celebrity detectives. I'm very good at this game. They must examine the evidence to identify the bad singers. That knock was doing too much. And in the end, yeah. it all comes down to one big moment. Helping tonight's contestants are Cheryl Hines, Kelly Osborne, Adrian Houghton, Arsenio Hall, and music superstar Nick Lachey. Get ready to play I Can See Your Voice, where spotting terrible talent can make you rich. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Ken Jong. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening, and welcome to America's brand new guessing game, I Can See Your Voice. Helping tonight's contestants weed out the bad singers throughout this investigation is our glamorous panel of celebrity detectives. Yeah. <laughs> and now, let's meet tonight's contestant, hoping to take home $100,000, Shannon from Chandler, Arizona. How you doing, Shannon? Doing I'm good? I'm good. I'm excited to be here. It's really exciting. and. I'm excited, so I don't have any other adjectives right now. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about yourself. I recently moved from Denver, Colorado to Chandler, Arizona. I do medical records processing. So Make data-driven decisions. Mm -hmm. That is Shannon from Chandler, Arizona. You got me, baby. I got you, baby. <laughs> what would you do with all that cash? Well, first I'd go back to school, get my certification for medical billing and coding, and oh, do that. That is you know? huge. That is awesome. See? Why is it so important for you to get back to school? I think that doing those steps and completing what I started would just be really good. Uh, <laughs> well, honestly, everyone here on this stage is pulling for you to win that money. Yes. Waiting in the shadows are six secret voices, all claiming to be incredible singers. However, some of them are fakers with voices so bad that your ears will hate you forever. <laughs> And that is a medical fact. But pay attention. The good singers will be telling the truth, but the bad singers could be lying about anything. You have to find and eliminate the bad singers who are trying to fool you. So let's get the investigation going and reveal those secret voices. Number one is the stylist. This fashion maven's first single drops this year. He's got a, a nice, confident hold on the microphone. I felt that. Number two is the football player. This former linebacker played with his punk band at the Vans Warped Tour. How is it that you're in a punk band but you don't have any tattoos? Number three, it's the golfer. This golfing fanatic was the lead singer on the Dirty Dancing Tour. I believe Tiger Woods can outsing this guy. <laughs> Number four, the mathlete. She's won national championships in both mathematics and show choir. I think she's gonna be the shocker. She's gonna have an incredible voice. Number five, the counselor. Her voice serenaded Simon Cowell at his 60th birthday. Number six is the rock climber. She sang on a family cruise line as Elsa, Ariel, and Rapunzel. A big voice is gonna come out of that body, I feel like it. Let's learn how to play the game. Okay. Oh, yeah. There are six secret voices up on that stage, but you'll never know exactly how many good and how many bad singers there will be. Your job is to use clues to eliminate the bad singers. For each one you eliminate, you will earn $10 thousand dollars by the end of the show you want to have eliminated 
all of the bad singers so that the last one standing is a good singer. Why? Because if they're a good singer, you could win $100,000. Yeah. Point in the air. Point in the air. Let's lift it up. Let's get into the investigation with our first three-way lip sync challenge. All right. Now, Shannon, to win $10,000 on this round, you want to find a bad singer. And just so you know, all of our good singers will be lip syncing to their own voices, but pay attention because all of the bad singers will be lip syncing to someone else's lovely voice. See if you can tell which is which. All right, guys, lip sync challenge number one, singing I Can't Help Myself, it's Stylist. Football player. And golfer. football player and golfer, Shannon. What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, fortunately, you get some help from our panel of celebrity okay. detectives panel. Kelly. Okay. Golfer, the reason why I think golfer is not a singer is because a trained singer, no offense, Ken, doesn't double fist the mic like that. What? The, 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 his mic technique was so weird, you know? That's like, true. I actually am sold on the golfer after seeing that. I, really, One, because why? I felt like he was... Why? Well, for really? one, that voice just seems to fit him to me. And he was so at home and so comfortable on the stage. I do mm. think he is a good singer. The stylist is a bad singer. That's my take. Seemed a little too posh, a little almost too good to be true. Mm. I absolutely believe that the stylist is a good singer. I like to pay attention to how they're getting the sound that comes out in the vocal that we're hearing. Mm -hmm. And in one of the parts, he said, nobody else. Yes. And the vocal said, nobody else. And his mouth said exactly what I just did. <laughs> Football player, I believe he can sing, and I believe he's a performer, because when the camera went past him, he did something that only a singer does. He found that camera and worked it. Ooh. I just saw he has tattoos on his arm. I noticed that, too. He's definitely, he's got a spark, but I don't think he's a good singer. Do yeah. we both agree yeah, the golfer cannot sing? I don't think the golfer is a good singer. He okay. can probably Am I sing. the only one that feels like the golfer is a singer? Yes. Am yeah. I the only one? Yes. Because all signs point to the stylist being a great singer, but for some reason, I just, I cannot buy it for some reason. Oh, and the golfer, okay. I feel like well, he's... A lot of split decisions here, yeah. but Shannon, it's time for you to make a full decision. <laughs> In front of you, you will see each secret voice's name and number so tap on the one that you would like to eliminate and then lock it in. So with the stylist, um, like Adrian was saying, the runs that he was doing, he had that down pat. I do believe that he is a good singer. Mm. Mm. Football player. Am I getting punk rock vibes? I guess is really the question. No, I guess is the answer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I don't think that he's a good singer. But... Mr. Golfer. His mic holding was a little awkward. No offense. But I don't think that's his voice. I'm torn between those two. I am going to go with Mr. Golfer. I don't believe that he has the stage presence of a singer. And I'm locking it in. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, stylist, football player, you can return to your podium. You are staying in the game. Golfer, get ready because you're about to show us what you've been hiding. OMG, guys. Shannon, have you identified a bad singer and made a cool $10,000? Yeah. Or a good singer and bank nothing? No. And remember, bad is good, good is bad. It's time to find out. Golfer, let's see your card. <laughs> you please let it be bad. They brought out a whole piano. Come on, golfer. Oh, jeez. Please. Much. No, I couldn't help but to enjoy it, like... <laughs> Are you really a golfer? I love to play golf. And then you, you were singing on the Dirty Dancing Tour? I did. I performed in the Dirty Dancing Tour European Edition, 1988. Oh. Wow. Give it up for the golfer. It's okay, Shannon. It is still early. After the break, we'll be getting a closer look at our next batch of secret voices hopefully eliminating some bad ones and possibly earning Shannon a hundred grand. Get involved. This is I Can See Your Voice only on Fox. You know what? My first instinct was right yeah, and I should have. I thought for sure he was a terrible singer. Welcome back to I Can See Your Voice, the only show where spotting terrible talent can make you really rich. Shannon, before the break, you eliminated the golfer and missed out on $10,000. And remember, your goal is to find as many bad singers as you can, because if the last one standing is good, you could win $100,000. Yeah. Do this. It is time for our second lip sync challenge. Performing Lady Marmalade, please give it up for mathlete, counselor, and rock climber. Oh my God, I love this song.
think? And they all did so good. I don't know. I have no idea. I have no idea. You want us to help you? Yes. <laughs> the rock climber. That is her voice. Yeah. I yeah. can see it. Yes. And I believe that she is 100% a good singer. I'm with Adrian. I thought that was the next Ariana Grande. She looked like she could sing her face off. I don't know. It's tough because everybody feels so certain about her. Mm -hmm. But she was so good in her lip syncs that it makes me doubt her. Mm. No, really? don't do that. Don't do that to yourself. That's how I feel. There were a couple times I felt like the rock climber, the, the, the lick didn't quite match her mouth. But um, the, the, the counselor has got me all kinds of messed up. Yeah. I, 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 yeah. She looks the part. She takes the stage with such confidence. And I just subscribe to this. Is it too obvious again? So, so you're saying bad singer? I, I don't know why. I think the counselor's a bad singer. You know what throws me off about the counselor? That the whole Simon Cowell's birthday party? Yeah. So I was on a date at the restaurant where he had his 60th birthday. Ooh. Was she there? I don't recall there what being any I entertainment seeing? other than a DJ. Uh, All right. <laughs> so I don't know. I see Mathlete's the one that is making me think it's not real. When yeah. she did certain moves, like moving her arm up, all of that seemed very, like... Unnatural. Stip unnatural to her. As a singer, you do actually, when you shoot music videos and stuff, you do actually lip sync. And I think one of the main things that you learn is not to be so big with the lip sync. But not all singers look necessarily comfortable or great while they're doing it. You could be a great what singer. What are you talking about, Nick and you can, I mean, <laughs> you always look good no matter what. But no. Because she looked not necessarily comfortable doesn't mean that she's, you know what I mean? Because look at the golfer. That's what happened. Yeah. All right, good job, panel. Shannon, what do you think? Honestly, the rock climber, I think that that was too much. Oh. I think she was over the top, she did a lot, and I think they're just trying to mess with me. <laughs> and as far as the mathlete, she was kind of stiff in the beginning, but I think she's a good singer, honestly. Oh, okay. What about the counselor? Counselor, I am iffy on her. Iffy on her sounds like a good album title. You know? Oh my God. See? <laughs> My mixtape, Biffy on Her, is dropping next Tuesday, guys. <laughs> Honestly, as Simon Cowell, you listen to people sing all day. The last thing I would want at my birthday is somebody singing. <laughs> Shannon, it's time to make a decision. All right, guys. I'm going to go with... Counselor. I should I do rock climber? Mm. Okay, all right. All right, I'm actually gonna change it to you, counselor. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with counselor. I feel like she's a bad singer because I think she was just, she was just doing too much and she was, it didn't, it didn't match for me, honestly. And I'm locking it in. Oh! You got the Sherlock Holmes posse over here confused. <laughs> <laughs> Counselor, time to take the stage of truth. Mathlete, rock climber, please return to your podium. Have you found a bad singer and banked yourself $10,000? Yeah. Or is it a good singer, meaning you win a big bag of nothing? No. <laughs> Counselor, let's see. Are you a counselor? I am a vocational counselor. Oh. But I did not sing at Simon Cowell's birthday party. Oh, Please yeah. give it up for the counselor. Yeah. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Wow. Shannon, 
You've eliminated one good singer and now one bad singer, bringing your total to $10,000. That's your ten thousand dollar dance. Oh I yeah, see. wait to see that hundred thousand. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You still have four remaining secret voices left to choose from. Ready to carry on? Yeah. Okay, well let's do it. After the break, keep it locked in right here, America, so I can see your voice. Coming up, more clues are revealed with video evidence. I love you! A secret studio session. And an interrogation in three, wow. two, one. Welcome back to I Can See Your Voice, the show which asks whether you can tell good singers from bad without ever hearing them sing. Shannon, you still have four remaining secret voices left to choose from. Remember, your goal is to eliminate as many bad singers as you can because if the last one standing is a good singer, you could win $100,000. Look at that, it's raining. It is raining. <laughs> In order to reveal more clues about our remaining secret voices, I, Ken Jung, have stolen their phones, but you only get to look inside one. Let's play Unlock My Life! Woo! So Shannon, what you will see is an exclusive video from inside the secret voice's phone revealing vital pieces of personal information about themselves, all with their voice slightly altered. Who do you want to hear from and why? Hmm. I am good with Mathlete and Rock Climber. I am kind of stuck between the stylist and the football player because there's so many up in the air questions about both of them. I would like to unlock the football player's life. Okay, America, time to strap on your sleuthing hats and take note of any clues. Remember, the good singers will be telling the truth, but the bad singers will be trying to trick you. Mm. Okay, let's find out what football player is all about. All my friends played sports. Well, I knew I always wanted to sing. I felt the pressure to play sports instead. I see earrings. Do you see earrings? In fourth grade, I started playing tackle football. All the other kids my age were playing flag. Do I see a nose piercing? Oh. I was so lucky to have my brother. He shares the same love of music. We were in a punk band together. I'm not, I'm not buying it for some reason. Now, I went to open mic circuit. It seemed every chance I get. Was he in any of those pictures? The ones that showed somebody performing, he kind of had his head down. Oh, you guys are tricky. And there were a lot of tattoos in that last picture, but I... was that him? Even when he was holding the guitar, it seemed like a prop. It didn't seem like... Can I tell you what it is throwing me the most? The pictures that they were showing were not of punk bands. That looked way more Ozfest than uh, Warp Tour. Oh. I've been swayed. I'm on the Kelly train. I'm on Same. the choo-choo. Watch me be wrong. <laughs> Shannon, it's time to make a decision. All right. Oh. Whose voice do you see as being bad? Are you eliminating football player? Or do you want to eliminate one of the other three? Final decision. All right, I am going to eliminate football player. I think he's a bad singer. I do. Because he just didn't give me the punk rock vibe. So, football player, let's see your voice! Oh, they brought a whole amp out. I'm really sorry if I messed this up for you. <laughs> He's plugging in. Ah. Be bad, be bad, be bad.
Yes, but you won, Shannon, $10,000, bringing your total to $20,000. Football player, w was your brother in a punk band? Did you guys start a punk band together? Uh, yeah, we were in punk and hardcore bands growing up. What did you do in the band? Like lay cable or something? <laughs> no, I didn't sing. I did play drums. <laughs> Give it up for the football player. Great job. Yeah. Don't go anywhere. This is I Can See Your Boy. <laughs>
on Shannon, ten thousand dollars, bringing your total to thirty thousand yeah. dollars. Yeah. Wow. Okay, so I had heard that you hold a world record for knowing the largest numbers of pi. Three point one four one nine. No. Oh. Yes. No. You're already wrong. Three point one four one five nine two six five three five eight nine seven nine three two three eight four six two six four three three eight three two seven nine five zero two eight eight four one More nine impressive. seven one six nine three wow. nine nine three. <laughs> Wow. Okay, give it up for the mathlete. She's right on that one. Yeah. Ah. All right, we are down wow. to our last two secret voices, and Shanna's next elimination is the most important one yet. Join us after the break. This is I Can See Your Voice. Yeah. Welcome back to I Can See Your Voice, the show where spotting terrible talent can make you really rich. <laughs> Shannon, Whew. you have now eliminated one good singer and three bad singers. Whew. You only have two secret voices remaining. They could both be good, they could both be bad, or there could be one of each. We just don't know. Which brings us to our final challenge. It's Interrogation. Hey. Shannon, you're about to get the opportunity to grill either one of our remaining secret voices, stylist or rock climber, and hear their unaltered voice for the first time. You'll get 30 seconds to ask them whatever you want, but then you have to eliminate one of them. Who do you want to interrogate and why? This is a very hard decision because I feel like stylists kind of skated through <laughs> because I, I just automatically assumed that he had a good voice. So I do kind of want to know a little bit more about him. But then on the other hand, my panel likes Rock Climber. I'm iffy about Rock Climber. So that just makes me want to know more about her as well. So I'm gonna interrogate the Rock Climber. Okay, Rock Climber, prepare yourself. Your 30 seconds starts in three, two, one, go. What was your proudest musical moment? In college, I was given a scholarship by the composer of Wicked. Oh, okay. How many jobs have you had before? Uh, Acting-wise, or, or singing-wise, I mean? F several, I've been doing it since I was a child. What was on your road trip playlist? Lots of Sarah Bareilles. Describe your energy on stage. Oh, magical. Ooh, <laughs> oh, there we go. Was that helpful? I think so. Kind of. Panel. Yeah, after listening to her talk, I picture her swinging from the sides of cliffs singing Sarah Bareilles. <laughs> <laughs> and it was something about the way she confidently said wicked. Yeah. yeah, it was like she was proud of that. Yes, and it was very specific, yeah. the composer. And she it used magical. Yeah, yeah, I was sold on magical. magical. Yeah. yeah. So, panel, where does this leave the stylist? I think maybe we get rid of the stylist. Why get rid of the stylist? Because we believe that the rock climber is a star. She's a good singer. <laughs> and remember, bad is good, good is bad. And Shannon, if this secret voice is a bad singer, you'll pocket another $10,000. It is time to make a decision. Who's it gonna be? Stylist or rock climber? I mean, from the beginning, Stylist has been my guy. I think you got the vocals, but then I don't know, because I don't know you. I don't know anything about you. But honestly, I have to go with my gut. And I didn't like Rock Climber from the beginning. I've got a lock in Rock Climber. I think she's a bad singer. That means Stylist will be going through to the finale. No big deal or anything, but you're about to duet with Nick Scott Lachey. So get ready. <laughs> Rock Climber. Let's see. Oh my God.
Clymer, that was maybe one of the most beautiful voices I've ever heard in my life, which is why I'm extremely heartbroken right now. Shannon, you've missed out on $10,000, but your total is still $30,000. So you do climb for the amazing acoustics? And I really do like to sing out there. <laughs> it's good acoustics. What made you decide to do the show? Similar to rock climbing, I love a good challenge, so I decided to do something that scares me a little bit. I love that. Good for you. I love that. Give it up for the rock climber. Amazing. And Shannon, we are down to our last secret voice. And if you have successfully eliminated all of the bad singers, and Stylist is a good singer, you could be taking home $100,000. But first, you've got to make one of the biggest decisions of your life. All of America is holding their breath to find out after this break. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to I Can See Your Voice. We're down to our last secret voice, stylist. It's all coming down to this. Shannon, it's time for you to make your final and biggest decision of all. <laughs> all game long, you've been trying to find and eliminate the bad singers so that a good singer is left standing up there to duet with Nick Lachey. Now, for the first time in the game, you're hoping Stylist is a good singer. And so, here's the decision you have to make. You can either walk away with the $30,000 guaranteed to go home, or you can play on for one final round, our grand finale. And if Stylist turns out to be a good singer, your winnings will shoot up to $100 thousand dollars however if you get it wrong and stylist turns out to be a bad singer you will go home with nothing panel all night long you've been taking notes collecting facts do you think stylist is a good or bad singer he did an incredible job with the lip sync challenge and i just feel like we have nothing to gamble on we don't know anything. We, all we saw was the lip sync challenge. You know what I mean? Yeah, but for me, from the very first time I saw anything to do with him, I felt like he was a good singer. So I would take the risk. Sure. He might just be a great performer and not a great singer. Mm. And it's hard to bet everything on that. That's a good point. Take the money, honey. $30,000 is a lot of money. Don't gamble no more. Vegas is closed. <laughs> Nick Lachey. I really believe that in this moment, you have to trust your gut, because this is your $30,000 on the line, and you have to trust whatever that is in there that's talking to you, so. OK, Shannon, which way are you leaning? Oh, shoot. I think I'm going to. I'm gonna pass out. Um, this is hard, so hard. I'm gonna throw up. I do believe that he can sing. Going with my gut. I am going to risk it all. Wow. And I'm rocking it in. <laughs> so right now is the moment of truth. Nick, please go and join Stylist on the stage of truth for the grand duet finale. Oh, God, what did I just do? Let's see if you made the right choice. Let's do this, Stylist. Singing Get Ready, Please Get It Going for Nick Lachey and Stylist. <laughs> Dreams come true to say that 
Thank you so much for watching. Good night.